Well, hello and uh, welcome to uh, Edison Vintage. I'm Phil Greenwood and today we start the uh, work proper on the, uh, the cottage uh, here up in the hills uh, north of uh, Apollo Bay in the Otway Ranges. We're restoring a little cottage, making it habitable for uh, Airbnb, bed and breakfast, that type of thing. So the first thing we've got to do in the cottage and the thing we did last week was just to uh, realign some of the power so that we get some places to put in lighting. Uh, wall lighting in this case and we've also rearranged the power points so the GPOs are in a better spot to make use of the, the room a little bit better. Now today we've made a start we are beginning to uh, install the pine lining boards now these are a uh, Regency groove type of lining board and they will be going all over the pine or the ply walls. Uh, these have got a bit dirty and uh, they're a bit hard to deal with hard to paint hard to sort out so we've ignored those and we're just going to cover over the top. So what we'll do today is start that job. It might take a couple of weeks, so I might be in a different shirt next week. But we'll show you how we go. We'll show you what we're doing, and hopefully this will be of use to you. Uh, let's see. So as you can see, we've been we've been busy putting up the lining boards. Uh, we've been working very hard, trying to get this ready for uh, for some lighting to go in. We've wired up the points that they go in, and we're going to show you exactly how we install uh, one of these or two of these um, steampunk picture lights. Now they may not be the lights that stay on the wall indefinitely but we thought we might take the opportunity to show you just how these install. They have a uh, universal mount system that we use on all of our wall lights so we'll go through the process and explain exactly how that works. Now you may not be able to do this yourself depending on which country you're in we're in Australia, so we do need an electrician who's currently making a noise over there, getting ready. So we'll show you how that works, uh, even though you may not be able to do it yourself. So this is the mount plate. Um, obviously it comes out of there. We're gonna mount this now on the wall. So I'll just explain it. We're just creating the uh, little earth connections. Now these earth connections have got to be attached to each removable part of the light, which is the main wall plate and also the mount plate. So that also needs to be earthed and wired into the earth, uh, the building earth. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll pull the little screw that we provide uh, and we've put a little tab, what do you call it? A little uh, that's it. A little crimped tab onto an earth cable to begin earthing the components. Now there's also an earth tab inside the wall plate. I've got a shadow there, I can't wear. Uh, and we will need to connect to that as well. So it's a bit dark in here, but we're uh, just connecting the earth to the inside terminal that we provide to earth the main body of this light fitting. Now we could have uh, an earth coming out of the tube from the light, but in this case we just put a terminal, an earth tab, on the mount plate. Now we just connect active and neutral, and I would imagine active to active and neutral to neutral, <laughs> to state the obvious. Um, just give ourselves a bit of wire to work with, turn it over for a big connector. Now again, depending on the country you're in, you will either be attempting this yourself or you will be forced by law to use an electrical contractor. Um, I think even in the US you've got to have a registered... No, not, not in the not US. No, nah, in the US. Is it only New Zealand and Australia? I'm, I'm not sure. And probably uh, some African countries. Maybe. I'm not sure. But anyway, because we're in Australia, we have to have a licensed contractor who also will certify that everything's done correctly. 
So it gets us off the hook. So two screws, uh, self tappers into the wall plate will carry the weight of this light. For, for heavier lights, this same system, you could use four screws, uh, but you would just need to drill a little hole in the front of the canopy or the cowl or whatever it's called, just to get into the, uh, the component part that we've uh, made universal. So it can take four screws, but for this light, it's not that heavy. So two screws should hold that fine. So we're back here for another week doing some work on the little cottage and as you can see we've done a fair bit of uh, the lining board. Now the reason we've used the lining board is because we've referenced the original cottage or the original house which has the ceilings lined in the same pattern. Um, it also has in the in the old house as you notice some original um, or perhaps later fitted uh, round Bakelite switches on wooden blocks. So we're going to recreate the wooden blocks and Bakelite switches in the cottage um, and we're going to show you exactly how to fix those to the timber lining. So we're using these uh, they're plastic Bakelite color I think made by Clipsal. Now these are Australian compliant so they're only to be used Australian New Zealand. Um, you might get away with it in other countries but certainly not North America. Uh, now, so the first thing we've got to do is uh, pull it apart and we've got to line up the fixing holes uh, with where we're going to fix on the timber plate. So we will line this up um, perfectly centre to the uh, timber block um, and make a mark with a pencil. And then we drill out those two marks so that the screw that fixes the switch can go all the way through this timber block and into the lining board. So this, uh, these just go straight through. Just push it a bit harder. Sharp me drills. <laughs> Now we grab our switch and we work out which is um, top of the switch and which is the bottom of the switch. Uh, now we are wiring up a two-way switch to go up and down the stairs. Not here we're not. Oh, not here we're not. We're just wiring up a single. We're putting it in there. So we've got our uh, two switch wires sticking out the wall. Um, now for Australia and New Zealand, there's no junction box behind this as there is in North America. How we've lived for 150 odd years with our junction boxes, I'll never know, but there you have it. So we connect up the switch wires and uh, make sure they're incorrect. Now, we're going to grab some fixing screws, which will wherever they are. I'm going to get on the other side so I can see you. Let's just... That's right. So, we've got our fixing screws here, and they're going to go all the way through the mounting block and then fix to the timber lining boards. Now, if you've got plaster sheet that you're using these for, you will we'll need a little red or blue or whatever these little, I can't see where I am, these little toggler things which will go in behind the plaster. But for us, because we're into the lining board, we can screw directly into the lining board. So it's a bit dark there, but that's okay. 
Oops. Someone made the hole a bit big. Okay, you'll get it in. So these will go right through the switch, right through the mounting block. So they're fairly long and they're like little wood screws. Or whatever they call them. Make sure that's straight again. Put the switch cover back on. Goes one way. And it goes one way, which is wrong. And then we do up the faceplate screws. And it's a bit hard to see in there because it's a bit dark. So there we have it, that looks like it works, and it's right in the centre, oops, right in the centre, which is perfect, brilliant. So as you can see, we're uh, almost finished, this, uh, the lining board part of this cottage, we, uh, we've installed a few wall lights, so we've got a couple of different varieties of colours and globes and shades. Uh, and we'll go through that in the next video. So make sure, if you like the video, you subscribe. Thumbs up and all that sort of stuff. If you want to see the next one, uh, tune in. It'll be in a couple of weeks because we've got a little bit of painting to do and uh, a few other things. But for now, uh, we'll call this video ended. And so we'll see you again in a couple of weeks. Bye.